Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to see how best you can find open data set for your data science project. It could be that you are a new beginner and you are trying to make a hobby project or it could be that you are a researcher and you want data set for your uh, particular research or analysis or it could be that you are a blogger and you want to write an article and then you want to find a relevant uh, real world data set for that. So this video, I'm going to show you a few places where you can find industry or close to industry real world data sets on internet. So the first place where you want to look at it is this one, which is a collection of lot of available public data set. So the collection of public data sets that are available on internet, this place has already collected. And But the problem is this is quite an exhaustive list. So unless until you know what you exactly want, you might be lost and it doesn't have any search on it. So uh, this is a good place if you exactly know what you want. Let's say you want um, some data set in economics. So you go to economics and then you try to find the relevant link and then you go to that particular place and then you look for the data set. But if you do not know, so I'm going to show you other places where you can look for the data set. The second place where you can search for data set is Google's data set search. So for example, let us assume that you want a data set that is about UK internet. Okay. So when you search for UK internet, you're going to get places. Um, this is more like a search engine, just like Google, but only for a given data set. So you can see uh, you from Statista, you can see from uh, Google, um, sorry, UK government website. So you can see all these places where you can actually download data set. And if you have a specific need saying that you want a data set, but that is only in a given format, let's say a table, then you can specifically mention that you want a given table. You don't want any other format. So Google data, uh, data set search is actually a good place if you want to search and understand where you have um, a given data set. So let's try something else saying that probably car usage. And then again, it would list you places uh, where uh, you can get a uh, relevant data set. So the only downside is, uh, like I said, so you, it is, it is like a search engine, which means once again, you're going to get a lot of options. And uh, you may not get the raw data set. Uh, for example, in this case, they would probably give you a data set that was used to make this chart, but not like a raw data set where you can build your project or analysis. So that is another problem with this thing, but still uh, it is a good uh, hit start if you want to start something smaller. You have something in mind and you want just um, data to prove that point or analyze that point. So the third one is um, data.world. So data.world is a good place. Uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's actually a growing uh, community and uh, you can uh, find data set for a lot of things. The only problem in this is you have to log in and register for a community edition. So if you go to the pricing pages, you might actually see a free trial and then you might be put off. Uh, this is a paid solution. So they have a lot of options for paid users for organizations or if you're a professional, uh, you know, uh, doing some kind of consulting. But if you want a free community edition, they have a free community edition where you can uh, search for hundreds and thousands of data set. You can even connect uh, directly from your uh, project. And uh, the problem is that you get only three private projects that you get to build, use, and uh, your storage limit is one, pri one GB private storage. For that, you have to sign up. So this is data.world. Uh, you can look for data.world. You have to sign up for a free community edition still it is uh, it is a good option because uh, these data sets are curated and then uh, it's not like anyone can just simply upload a data set and walk away so that way it is a good option for you so the next option that i'm going to show you is actually uh, one of the most uh, well known places for machine learning data sets um, also kind of a cliched place but still i wanted to count it because of the good um, uh, data sets that they have got and uh, the constant update that you get it is uca machine learning so you can simply google for uca machine learning and uh, you would be taken to that place so most of the things that we covered you can simply google online so you can look for awesome data set you can look for google data set you can look for data world which is also their website url and finally what we are looking at right now is uca machine learning repository so again this is the place which is predominantly used by researchers. In fact, it gives you meta information about what is the most popular data sets you can, like if you're from the R world, you would probably know Iris. If you're from the Python world, probably you would know uh, like wine quality or adult income um, US uh, census data set. 
so this these are all quite very very familiar data set and um, there are some data sets like um, human activity recognition using smartphones like let's say you are a college student and you want to university student and you want to build a project um, you want to use deep learning or you want to use some um, some uh, sort of machine learning to detect some uh, human activity just based on um, smartphone sensor and then this is the data set that you have to go so this this is again a constantly updated data set um, so this is again a good place so there is another advantage in this is that you can pick data set based on your need so let us assume that you want to do a machine learning and uh, you want only you know numerical data then you can pick numerical or you want to do a machine learning task which is only regression then you can pick regression and then you can do so it has this kind of attributes uh, or uh, tags defined which would make uh, it much easier for you to um, use this platform and this is quite hel helpful if you are actually you know data science content creator let's say you want to make a youtube video you want to make a, a blog a tutorial you are a developer advocate then this is a this is a very good place for you to pick a data set and then you know build your analysis or model on top of it so this is again a very good place quite cliche very well known lot of um, users have heavily used it but still it is one of the best places in the world still and the next one is if you are interested in uh, particularly economics uh, related data or macroeconomics related data or world related data the world banks uh, data uh, website is really really good one for example if i want to know something about india i can just simply type india and um, it would take you to the data sets that are available related to india so they have got uh, a couple of good options uh, where you can download data set or you can do visualization online yourself you can build small plots and then share it with your network so it is it is really really good place and then again this is a place where you want to look for data set especially for your um, you know analysis or uh, let's say you are a journalist and you want to build something this is exactly the place where you want to look for a data set because you know the legitimacy of this data set how genuine it is because it comes from a body that uh, that that deals with this kind of data so this is definitely a good place uh for you to pick data sets for your academic projects um, you could be from economics you could be from statistics or uh, you are doing some kind of research so this is definitely a good place for you to pick a data set um, let's say you want to find agriculture data set so let's let us see if they have got anything related to agriculture okay so it didn't show anything related to agriculture you can probably say um wholesale index or uh, your wholesale price index or you can look for inflation so you have got all these um, uh, economic indicators and factors in this website so this is a very good website uh, for you to pick economics related data set um, the final one that i'm going to show you okay so the pre final one is our world our world internet data so let me just yeah our world in data that is a website or uh, name our world in data.org this is really really a good uh, website for a lot of uh, data set that are uh, relevant to uh, for, you know uh, for the recent things that we come across for example you want internet uh, related data or um, you want uh, uh, let's say some um, um, this the new pandemic related data or you want commutation related data so this is this is really really good platform often you know highly ignored by a lot of people who talk about data set so for example let's say in this case i want to again look for agriculture so it can also show you related to a given country and uh, let's say there is a plot and below the plot you can actually see the data set that was used uh, to make this plot uh, so this is this is really really a handy website it also provides you a lot of insights uh, for a given data set uh, and uh, you can really really pick a good data either to support your hypothesis or test your hypothesis or even to start an analysis from scratch so this is really a good place for you to look for data set in that case especially related to you know uh, everything that is around us so the website name is our world in data.org Uh, which is uh, highly ignored and uh, very underrated so i would give um, a good uh, rating for them to you know people to use it and then um, build analysis on top of it and finally we are going to get into something that is quite popular with machine learning community which is kaggle datasets kaggle was a platform that used to be 
only competition platform so if you do not know uh, about kaggle so i have done a webinar related to kaggle taking uh, people through kaggle uh, platform so i would link that also in the description you can look at it so kaggle has a section called data set it has really good amount of data set especially because um, uh, if you do not know kaggle is currently owned by google and then kaggle has been pushing data sets uh, a lot um, the section data set so uh, let's say you want uh, you want to build an attrition uh, uh, attrition prediction model so you can just type attrition and uh, you would get uh, i hope ah uh, yeah you get uh, something related to employee attrition let's say you want to understand about marketing funnel mm, let's see if there is any data set yeah so you have marketing funnel related data set you want to look for data set related reviews you get data set related reviews so kaggle is really really a good platform again for a lot of community driven data set so if you are if you want to do some analysis on youtube let's say youtube you also get popular videos on youtube data set so this is really a good platform uh, one because you get data sorry one you get data set available two you can actually use kaggle notebook to build um, analysis on top of those data set so again uh for a lot of uh, people who are getting started with uh, data anal uh, analytics uh, data science machine learning whatever you would like to call it kaggle data set is really really good platform for you to look for the data set so uh you can afford a data set and then also you can look at the license information for a given data set so what license it is up, 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 updated and you use it for commercial purpose so you again this this makes it a lot clearer for you to use your data set in a given project and uh, this is a good place for you to look for data set starting from smaller size data sets to like any size so this is a really good platform uh if you want to use data set and then you know build hobby projects or even if you want to write articles download data set that is quite industry relevant and then you know based on that you can write blogs about it so um, that is all it and um, i wanted to name this video five places where you, you can look for a uh, uh, industry related data set but i think we have exceeded five so to quickly summarize uh, we started with uh, two places that are like aggregators so one is awesome data which is a github repo that would take you to all the places where data sets are available the second aggregator is um, a google data set search which is like a search engine for finding data set then we started with uh, proper websites which list data set which start, we started from data world then we moved on to uci machine learning which is again a very popular place then we went to kaggle um, sorry then we went to um, world bank data set for macroeconomic indicators and uh, financial indicators then we went to our world in data.org which is a very good place for a lot of uh, relevant uh, um, world related data set and finally we looked at kaggle platform where we get a lot of community driven data set sometimes uploaded by companies themselves and uh, it's again good if you want to build hobby projects or uh, uh, real world uh, close to real world analysis that can add a good value to your portfolio so i would link uh, all these videos all these websites uh, in the description and uh, please let me know if i had missed any uh, place where you usually find good data set and uh, i hope this video was helpful uh, for you to kick start your machine learning or data science portfolio or to just simply find data set that can uh, keep you occupied and uh, if you have any suggestions please please let me know in the comment section and see you in the next video take care bye bye